Hey, I'm Dave, and on this installment of Summit Racing 101, where we cover the basics of automotive tech, we're going to be talking about forced induction applications. One of the questions we hear quite often from, from guys that want to take their vehicle to the next step or add serious power to their vehicle is what's the difference between a supercharger and a turbocharger? And they're both they operate on the same principle. They're trying to cram your engine with more air to create more combustion even off the same size displacement engine. So they're, they're serious power adders. And the difference really lies in how they're driven. A supercharger is driven off the, the crankshaft via, via a belt. So whether it's a root style supercharger, centrifugal style supercharger screw type, you're looking at a belt driven, belt driven device that adds power or adds air to your engine. Turbocharger, on the other hand, is driven off exhaust gases. Uh, it harnesses the exhaust gas velocity out of your engine and uses it to drive a turbine, which is, then drives a compressor that crams more air into the engine. Now the big question you probably all have is which one is right for your vehicle or which one is right for your application, whether it's street or race. And before we get into that, I think it's important to talk about how each device actually works, especially the supercharger side, because there's actually three different types of superchargers and the one you choose can make a difference on your vehicle's performance, uh, noise levels, uh, clearances and all that. So uh, let's take a quick look at the supercharger. Starting here, I have the root style supercharger, which is probably the most recognizable. These are the ones you'll see on you know, race big blocks, so you'll see them on street rods, you see them poking up through you know, uh, engine compartments at car shows. Uh, again, because it's a supercharger, it's belt driven. Uh, this one uses a couple uh, internal lobes which actually compresses the air within the engine cylinders. Uh, that's in contrast with a screw type supercharger which looks a lot like this but operates differently. That one uses a couple of, of screws within uh, screw devices within the um, body of the supercharger to compress the air within the supercharger before it goes in the engine. So the roots type blower is actually compressing air within the engine cylinders. Uh, the screw type will compress the air within the supercharger itself. A uh, third type of supercharger is a centrifugal style, which is a lot actually like a turbocharger. Uh, the main difference being the centrifugal supercharger is belt driven, but it looks a lot like this and the, the idea is the same where it uses turbines to compress the air uh, using that, the, uh, the drive from the belt. Uh, those are the three types of superchargers. The turbocharger, again, the primary difference driven off of exhaust gases. Uh, so um, once the exhaust gases are sent out of the engine, uh, they'll be routed back uh, into the, into the turbine area, uh, the turbine will spin off the exhaust gases and the compressor will send uh, air, compressed air, into the engine to create more power. Okay, so I've gone over three types of superchargers and also the turbocharger and the question that you're going to want answered is which one is right for your vehicle? And uh, so we're going to go over uh, advantages and disadvantages of each and you can kind of decide for yourself which is right for your application. And we'll start on the supercharging side with the root style supercharger. That's this one here. Uh, these have very good reliability. They deliver good uh, power gains throughout the RPM range. Um, instant th uh, throttle response. Uh, there's no lag at all. It's just right off idle. You, it kicks right in. So uh, in addition to those performance benefits, uh, the looks are fantastic if you have a show vehicle. If you want uh, the wow factor, I mean, if you've seen street rods, you'll see supercharged engines. Uh, these really get attention. You'll see these peeking out from under uh, hoods, up through the hoods that have been modified. Um, so, you know, that could also work against you, though, if you don't want to do any uh, clearancing work on your hood. You don't want to modify your hood to allow this to peek out. So clearance, depending on uh, where you're coming from can be an advantage or disadvantage. Um, Moving on to screw type superchargers, um, in comparison to these root style chargers, they give more of a factory uh, fit, so there's not the clearance issue that you might come across with uh, a root style where it's sticking way up. Um, good low RPM power on the screw type superchargers, but not as much higher RP RPM power on the root style, which delivers that power across the entire RPM band. So as the RPMs increase, the horsepower increases might not catch up the way a root style supercharger would. Uh, however, 
Uh, the screw type is a pretty reliable supercharger design as well. Uh, they all are really, the superchargers are pretty reliable designs. And that also goes for the centrifugal style. Uh, this style, uh, in comparison to the screw type, which delivers a low RPM power, the centrifugal superchargers uh, focus more on high RPM power. Uh, good clearance, don't have to worry about you know, hood clearance on those. Um, reliable and probably the easiest of, of the three to install. So why choose a turbocharger then over any of the three supercharger styles that we covered? Well, there are some very important advantages that our turbochargers offer over the superchargers. The main one being efficiency. Again, because superchargers are, are belt driven and it requires the engine to give up some of its energy to, to run the supercharger, to power the supercharger, you're, you're having some parasitic horsepower loss there. Uh, hopefully, you'll gain that back in the end because of the, the power the supercharger is creating, but you do lose some power there. And you don't have that with the, the turbocharger because it is using the exhaust gases to power the, the impeller and to power the overall uh, turbocharger. Um, on the other hand, that design where you're using those exhaust gases to power is also can be a disadvantage, a disadvantage in the form of turbo lag. Uh, turbo lag is when you step on an accelerator and it takes a second for that power to kick in. And that's because of the, the fact that it's using exhaust gases to spin the impeller inside. It has to take a little bit of time for the uh, RPMs to ramp up and create that exhaust pressure needed to spin that impeller. So uh, you don't get the great off idle uh, instant power that you do with a supercharger. And you'll get a surge at the end uh, when that kicks in. So it's not, you don't get the linear power that you really do with uh, some of the supercharger designs. You do get great high RPM power there with turbochargers. They're known, they're known for that. And they're known because they also usually offer quieter operation than a supercharger. Um, uh, one other drawback to a turbocharger is they can be hard to tune. Uh, they don't give you the tuning and flexibility of a, of a supercharger. So uh, efficiency, uh, quiet operation, uh, those would be two reasons why you would choose a turbo over a supercharger. Um, if you have more questions about turbos, superchargers, or any forced induction application or anything performance related, be sure to watch the rest of our quick look videos. If you have a question or comment, leave it in the comment section below.